Hello everybody, we are starting our new section today and we're going to be analyzing inscribed angles. So we're um, looking at the relationship of another one of those big vocabulary terms for the circle units being inscribed angles. So a little bit of refresher, what is an inscribed angle? That's going to be an angle where its vertex is on the circle and the two sides are chords. So it's not a central angle. When we have an inscribed angle that's along the outside of the circle, um, the arc that lies in between the inscribed angle, that we note that as the intercepted arc. So it's that arc that lies between the endpoints of an inscribed angle. Um, we have an equation to analyze that relationship between the inscribed angle and the intercepted arc. And the inscribed angle is equal to one half of the arc. So here, angle ABC is equal to one half of arc AC. There's another relationship we can note that's unique about inscribed angles, is that when we have an inscribed angle that intercepts a diameter, the inscribed angle is 90 degrees. So in this example, angle BAC is going to be equal to 90 degrees because it intercepts the diameter. If you look at the two cores that extend from this angle, it meets at the edges or at the endpoints of my diameter. Therefore, my angle is 90 degrees. Another unique um, relationship about inscribed angles is going to be the overlapping arcs. So if you have two inscribed angles where the arc of those inscribed angles is identical, then those inscribed angles are going to be identical. So here, angle ABD is congruent to ACD because they share the same arc AD. All right, so let's put these theories into practice. Example one, I'm trying to find the angle and arc measures in both of these examples. Um, I wrote a little hint up there at the top. This is something I use to remember the equation, angle equals the one half arc. And this is only true for inscribed angles. So to my left, I am wanting to solve for angle WXY. So that's gonna be right here. It tells me that my intercepting arc is 62 degrees. Therefore, if I'm plugging and chugging through this equation, my angle is gonna be equal to one half of 62. So 62 divided by 2 gives me, is that 31 off the top of my head? Woohoo! 31 degrees. All right, let's look at another example. Here I'm provided the angle. I am wanting to solve for the arc, arc DG, or angle DGF. Well, technically it should be arc. Okay. Okay, our arc measure is going to be equal to... So my angle is 113 equal to one half times arc. So I'm going to divide one by one half or multiply by two. Cross those out, multiply by two. My arc is going to be equal to 113 times two, 226 degrees. All right, let's look at some more relationships. Once again, we are trying to find the angle um, and arc measures. To my left, I'm trying to solve for angle PQR. However, looking at that information, angle PQR is an inscribed angle and it intercepts the diameter. Therefore, angle PQR is a right angle and equals 90 degrees. To my right, I am wanting to try to solve for angle JKL. How am I going to solve for JKL? Well, if I figure out what this arc along here, arc JML is, I can use that to solve for my angle. So how can I find that arc? Well, I know that this arc is 53, this arc is 65. If I add 53 plus 65, that gives me 118. I can subtract that from uh, 360 to get that arc measure. 
So my arc measure is 242 degrees. Remember, angle is equal to one half of arc. So I'm going to take 242, divide by 2 to give me my angle. So 242 divided by 2. My angle is going to be 121 degrees. Let's look at another example. All right, here I'm trying to solve for x. Okay, and x is um, tucked away in angle x, w, y with 7x plus 6. How am I going to solve for that angle? <laughs> How am I going to solve for that angle? Well, let's think back to my relationships. All my arcs added up together equal 360. So, can I solve for this arc right along here? Yeah, because I have this angle. So I can take 114 times 2 to give me 228. Now that I have that this is 228 and this is 78, I can add 78 and subtract from 360 to get my arc x, y. 6 gamma 1, 0 gamma 1, 306. So 360 subtract 306. Give me an answer of 54. 54. Now that I have um, that arc measure being 54, I can figure out what angle XWY is equal and set this um, degree number equal to it. So 54 divided by 2. gives me 27. So I know that angle XWY is equal to 27. I can set that equal to 7X plus 6 and solve for X. 27 minus 6 gives me 21. X is going to be equal to 3. Okay. Um, there was also another alternative route we could have gone about. Um, I could have used 78 and divided that by 2 to get this angle over here. And once I had those angle up over there, I could add it, could have added that value up plus 114, subtract from 180, and set it equal to this value right here. Okay, so in these circle problems, there's multiple, multiple routes to go about. Last example. I am trying to find arc KL. KL. So it's going to be right here. In order to find KL, I believe I'm going to need to solve for this angle right over here and multiply by 2. I just have a premonition that that's the route we're going to go. Um, but I need to solve for that x value first. What else do I know looking at this picture? Well, my inscribed angle intercepts a diameter. Therefore, this inscribed angle is going to be 90 degrees. So if that angle is 90 degrees, what are these two angles going to add up to equal? Well, 90 degrees, because 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180. So I can take 3x plus 2 plus 7x minus 32 equal to 90. If I simplify that down, that gives me 10x plus or I'm sorry, minus 30 equal to 90. I can add 30. Give me 10x equal to 120. X is equal to 12. Now that I have that 12, I can plug it into this number, solve for that angle, and then multiply by 2 to give me my arc. So 3 times 12 plus 2. 12 times 3 is 36 plus 2. Give me 38. So this angle is equal to 38 degrees. Remember, an inscribed angle um, is equal to one half of your arc. So I'm going to take 38 times 2 to give me my final arc of KL equal to 76 degrees. And that's the last problem I have for you. All right. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, a lot of this chapter involves algebra skills, so you're going to have to brush up on those um, equations. Have a good day, guys.